Well, we have been getting a break from the rain showers for West Side Valleys, but one location still seeing that steady rainfall, and that's the Klamath Basin. Just south of Klamath Falls, we've been seeing some steady rainfall continuing to move up from the south towards the north northeast. So watch the showers for the overnight hours in the Klamath Basin, but for West Side Valleys, just very isolated showers, even a few breaks in the cloud cover, and the same goes for the coast. You can see just isolated showers for Josephine and Curry County. So once again, isolated showers, at least for West Side Valleys and the coast, but for the Klamath Basin, some steadier rainfall still in the forecast for tonight and temperatures they have been cool behind this cold front in the middle 50s for Medford currently upper 40s for Montague middle 40s for Mount Shasta still in the middle and upper 50s along the coast and east of the Cascades lower 40s for Klamath Falls the same goes for Lakeview Alturas sitting at 44 degrees and look at the difference in temperatures from this time yesterday a huge difference in the Klamath Basin almost 20 degrees cooler for Klamath Falls almost 15 degrees cooler for Montague same goes for Mount Shasta Medford almost 10 degrees cooler, but oh, on the coast, not a huge difference. Only three degrees cooler for both Brookings and Crescent City than we were this time yesterday. And it's all due to the cold front that moved through. And this area of low pressure has been very, very slow moving. So that means we're even going to be seeing some wraparound moisture from this cold front, even throughout the day on Saturday, continuing not just for Saturday morning, but for Saturday evening. So here's the storm cast, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Just isolated showers this evening for most locations. Steady rainfall east of the Cascades. The cloud cover sticking around. We're also seeing snow levels dropping for parts of the Cascades and the Klamath Basin. And then we'll also see those showers wrapping back around. This will be moving in by tomorrow, lasting throughout the day. Just isolated showers in the forecast, but definitely something to keep in mind for that football forecast. If you're heading up to Eugene, big game against Stanford. Temperatures, they are going to be cool around 430. We're looking at temperatures in the middle 50s. And a few showers are possible, just very isolated in nature. So bring your poncho just in case, but definitely bring a blanket or a jacket because it is going to be cool especially as the night moves on after that game starts. So for tomorrow along coast, just isolated showers in the forecast. Upper 50s for Gold Beach, middle 50s for Brookings and Port Orford, Crescent City, a high in the upper 50s at 58 degrees. And for Northern California, more isolated showers, cool temperatures hanging in there for the weekend. Lower 50s for Wairika, weed in the middle 40s for highs, upper 40s for Mount Shasta, a very light west-northwesterly wind. And for the Klamath Basin, highs only in the lower 40s for Chiloquin, middle 40s for Klamath Falls. Higher elevations that rain if we do see any rain it's going to mix with some snow and that will also go for the mountains for the higher elevations crater lake only getting up to the middle 30s prospect will see a high in the middle 40s upper 40s for butte falls with isolated showers and for the rogue valley another cool day ahead in fact cooler than what we saw today 56 degrees the high for grants pass the same for rogue river medford 55 ashland a high in the lower 50s at 53 degrees for the next seven days along the coast getting a break from the showers on sunday with mostly cloudy skies then the showers return for the start of the work week highs remaining in the middle and upper 50s to start next week for Northern California. Patchy frost possible by Sunday. We do have some frost advisories and freeze watches out for isolated showers. will be returning by Monday and Tuesday and for the Klamath Basin. Partly cloudy skies by Sunday still keeping it chilly. Then the 50s returning for Monday and Tuesday along with rain chances for the mountains. Upper 30s for overnight lows by Sunday morning and then partly cloudy skies continuing throughout the day. Highs in the middle 40s for the Rogue Valley staying chilly, staying below average. And yes, that says patchy frost for Sunday morning. So we're looking at possibly the first frost of the fall so far. All right, thank you very much.